Tonight, we're here to wage a very serious warfare. Turn to somebody and look at the person straight in the eye. Say, I shall not miss my appointed time. Can you say that to the person loud and clear? Turn to another person and say the same thing. Turn to a third person and say the same thing. That is the title of our warfare here tonight. But let me make some small, small explanations before we begin to pray now. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. I shall not miss my appointed time. Isaiah 61. Are we there? Are you there now? He said, Arise, shine. Why? For thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Please keep that at the back of your mind. In Psalm 105, Psalm 105, I read from verse 17. Psalm 105, 17. Are we there? He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant. Whose feet the heart with fetus. It was laid in iron until the time. Until the time that his word came. Your word shall come. Yeah. You don't understand that prayer. The word of deliverance of Joseph came. Your word shall come. Yeah. Your word shall come. Your word shall come, 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 your word shall come in the name of Jesus until the time that his word came. The word of the Lord tried him, then the king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his substance. To bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his senators wisdom until the time. Until the time. In the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 2, verse 4. I know there is somebody here today. Your time for unnatural, unusual, uncommon breakthrough has come. In John chapter 2, verse 4, Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. He was waiting for an appointed time. The same John chapter 7, verse 6, Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet come. But your time is always ready. Jesus said that word. Now if we open right back to John chapter 5. John chapter 5. Let me read it from verse 1. John chapter 5 from verse 1. After this, I was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda. Having five porches. In this lay a great multitude of impotent folk. Of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Verse 4. For an angel went down at certain season, a particular time in the pool, 
and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Listen, beloved. One of the worst tragedies in life is to miss your appointed time. There are some people in life who are always visited by constant misfortune, constant bad luck. They are never at the places of blessings when others are there. When others are getting blessed, certain forces keep them off. The spirit of bad luck has enveloped some people that whenever blessing is about to happen, that is the day they will not be around. There are two major times in the life of a man. There is a general time. There is a divinely appointed time. General time, the time of divine appointment. In that general time, a man can do anything. You can do what you like or what you dislike. You can do what you desire. You can do what you don't desire. You can desire to eat. You can desire to walk or run. You can desire to sleep. You can desire to walk. That time is called general time, normal time. Nothing significant happens if you take spiritual actions at those times. On the other hand, there is a divinely appointed time. A set time or the right time for a particular thing. A time that the Almighty has programmed. If a person locates that time and you plug into the socket of that time, you will win and you will move forward. And the story of the person's life will change for the better. I know that your story will change to glory. The divinely appointed time is a time of favor. A time of opportunity. A time of change. It is the due time. The Bible says, Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of God is risen upon you. All who discern and they operate at that appointed time, they are usually supernaturally assisted and helped. They are usually blessed. They are imparted and they go out to make impact. According to Isaiah 61, when it is your time and season, your light comes. You arise. Then you shine. Then God's glory is seen by everyone upon your life. At that your divinely appointed time, your God arises and shows his mercy and favor upon your life. And it's a gloriously wonderful thing for God to arise on your behalf. But that arising is at appointed time. At appointed time. A man had been coming to church for many years, seeking for breakthroughs, seeking for breakthroughs, seeking for breakthroughs. But one particular service day, he did not come. It was that day the angel showed up and put a parcel on his, his, the, where he normally sat in church. The angel put a parcel there and, and labeled the parcel for the man who sits here. That day, he never turned up. But that day there was somebody who was visiting the church for the first time. A visitor. Since they couldn't find a seat for him, they ushered him to the seat where the brother did not sit. And since he was the one who took that seat that day, the blessing that the brother has been praying for for five years now transferred to somebody who was coming for the first time. It is important for you and I to cry to the Lord today in one of the greatest prayers in the universe that my father let me be in the right place at the right time. That fellow was not there at that time. He missed his own appointed time. I shall not miss my 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 appointed time. Say it three times. Despite all the efforts of Joseph to free himself, Joseph remained in that prison. With his gifts, with his talents, with his potentials, he was locked up in that prison. Even when he helped the butler, by the time the butler left, he forgot about Joseph. 
Joseph said, when you, are, when you are released, tell the king that I'm here. The man forgot completely. But finally, his appointed time came. The king of Egypt heard about him. He sent for him. He loosed him. He listened to him. He appointed him. He entrusted him. Gave him power. In one day, all the years of sorrow of Joseph came to an end. I know that if somebody here this evening, in one day, all the past trouble you have been going to shall terminate. Shall terminate. Shall terminate. Shall terminate. Shall terminate. Shall terminate. He shall terminate. He shall terminate. In the name of Jesus. Say, my time has come by far. In the name of Jesus. Shout it three times. Amen. So there is something known as the appointed time. Without plugging into that appointed time, miracles become impossible. Without plugging into his appointed time for the miraculous. Even Jesus did not perform any miracle. So he was politely turning down offers to do miracles. He said, my time is not yet. My time is not yet. Jesus knew there is an appointed time from heaven. A time and season for everything underneath the earth. According to John chapter 5 that we read, at a certain appointed time, an unpredictable season, an angel of God used to come down to trouble and stir the water of Bethesda. It was an appointed time. Nobody could predict what time it would be. That appointed time is appointed for the sick. Unfortunately, those people didn't have enough wisdom to say, okay, all of us gather by this pool. Let us cooperate. The thing is that whoever gets inside first will be healed, isn't it? Let us cooperate. Instead of one one person getting this healing, let us join our hands and fall upon it at the same time. No! They didn't use that wisdom. So, at the trouble of the pool, whoever got inside first got healed. At that time. Immediately, that time is gone. The time becomes general again when nothing happens. If you jump there, nothing will happen. You might even swim there, nothing will happen. The appointed time, at that time, every move you make, that time, bring joy and blessings to your life. But the sad thing is this, there are some people troubled and afflicted by mysterious forces. These mysterious forces, they trouble them, they afflict them, so that they don't allow them to know the time or the season, or they make them to miss the appointed time. There are forces that keep people away from strategic opportunities. There are some powers that we call opportunity abutters. These are forces to battle here tonight. There are great, great, great people gathered here tonight. There are great men and women gathered here tonight. Unfortunately, many forces have limited so many of God's people. So many forces have pulled so many people down. There are people tonight, if the amount of money that has passed through their hand are retained, they'll be one of the richest Nigerians. There are people here who have people all over the place, people with high connections, but for some mysterious reason, they don't want to help them. I saw who said the president was my classmate. So I said, me and so and so person, we were so so placed together. My father was the one that brought up so 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 person. But for some reason, something locked them up from helping you. I issue the curse of God on any power caging your helper. In the name of Jesus, you shall receive help. 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 In the name of Jesus. David was a man that was destined to be great. He was destined to do great things for God. I knew that he must have felt like a man thrown into the dustbin and his brothers would be making fun of him on a daily basis. But something inside him was saying, my time is coming. My time is coming. My time is coming. My time is coming. That's your time for elevation, for promotion, shall manifest. Shall manifest. Shall manifest. 
shall manifest shall manifest in the name of Jesus it must have been very frustrating for David that day that a whole Samuel was coming to their house and they just kept him away that he was not qualified to even see the man that he must go and stay with the sheep when Samuel is gone they will come and tell you what happened but something within David was telling him, your time is coming. Just hang in there. Don't give up. Your time is coming. One of the saddest things in life is when a person should take just one more step to enter into a breakthrough and you go back. Then you lose the opportunity. Then you start from the scratch again. It is good to imagine the looks on his brother's faces when they declare that this one is the next king of Israel. Many years after they declared David as king, Saul was still pursuing all over the place. But something within him was saying, your time is coming. I'm sure that when a guy had Ishmael, Sarah would feel very, very bad. But something would be telling her, your time is coming. The Bible talks about the blind man by Jericho, blind Bartimaeus. I'm sure when he woke up that morning to go and be begging as usual, he did not know that that was the appointed day. If some forces kept him at home that day, maybe he had malaria fever or something, and he didn't go out. Whatever forces kept him at home that day would have prevented him from his appointed time. That man that was at the pool of Bethesda, the man that waited all his life to be healed, he was not there by accident, but just at the right time jesus met him there there were plenty of people there but you just went straight to one man because it was his appointed time when it is your appointed time the lord will come and single you out for blessings but these mysterious forces troubling people making them to miss their hour of favor Pushing them away the day their angel of blessing will come. Discouraging them when they are at the edge of their breakthroughs. We grab them and say, leave this place. Go to another place. Leave this church. Go to another church. And after they are gone, the day of favor arrives. The angel comes to look for them in the address where they were supposed to be. So they will not be in that address. And then the angel cannot forward it to the wrong address where they've gone. I pray tonight, beloved, any power that will push you away from the place of blessing, I command the power to die. In the name of Jesus. When forces are after a person to push a person away from the appointed time, they can use the power of lateness. Power of lateness. The person will get there after they have distributed the blessing. When these forces are after a person, they will keep the person far behind until what is supposed to get has been distributed to others. When these forces are after some people, people will promise to help you, they will promise to favor you, and then the person that is supposed to help, something happens to the person. One of the saddest things that I've ever had in life was a man who was praying for a contract. The day the five billion naira contract was arriving at his door, the man who brought the letter that they should sign for it met people crying by the door that the man died that morning. He still gave them the letter, but he knew that it was a useless letter to deliver. Any power that wants to remove you before you connect to your blessings, let those powers be destroyed tonight. Let them be destroyed tonight. Let them be destroyed tonight. Let them be destroyed tonight. Let your amen roll like thunder. In the name of Jesus. When these forces want to push a person away from the appointed time, somebody promised to help you and, has, and your hopes are very high. You have even started thanking God. All of a sudden, the person changes his mind. Say, no, I'm not doing it again. Those are the forces. Those are the forces. If you are under this category that I'm mentioning now, pray like a mad prophet here tonight. Because tonight is not a day to just come here and joke. When this person is after a person, a man will work hard, put everything he has into a certain thing, will spend saliva, spend sweat. Then at the day the thing will be presented, all the expectations and the hopes are dashed to the ground. 
is those powers that want to keep a person away from the appointed time. There are some women who will have married wonderful husbands, but they wasted so much time with one useless boyfriend somewhere. And this useless boyfriend or boy enemy kept them engaged, thereby keeping them occupied when the right person was around, they missed it. So another strategy of the enemy is to give the person a dummy, something, a dummy, something that is not the original. When this enemy is after a person to make sure the person misses the appointed time, you just find that you are all, all at the edge of getting this thing, then something mysterious happens, you don't understand it, you can't master it, the thing just visits away. This is a very strange thing. Some on the day that they are supposed to move into their destiny, the enemy organizes a problem for them that will prevent them from moving into their destiny. Just like that, our friend, the day will have passed an interview that will have moved his destiny forward. The interview was on the top, top floor. It was supposed to start at 9 o'clock. He got there on time. He got there at 8.15. He took the lift to go up and himself and three other staff of that company, as they were going through the lift, the lift got stuck. The engineers tried and tried and tried and tried to bring down the lift. They, they eventually brought down the lift at 12 midday when the interview was over. And that's how he missed it. I pray once again tonight that any power keeping you away from your place of testimony should be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder tonight. Let your amen roar like thunder. When these forces are after a person, they bring the wrong, wrong people your way to divert and to confuse and to cause trouble. A person goes to the hospital, they push him towards the wrong doctor. And then that one causes more confusion. Gives the person the wrong, wrong things. That's going to cause trouble. When the forces are after a person, a day that the person is supposed to be blessed, somebody who is not entitled to it goes there and collects it. That is why if you keep dreaming of seeing somebody like you, somebody like you, somebody like you in the spirit realm, don't joke with it. That's a twin substitute. It will collect your blessings. When these forces, when they're after people, you find that any time something starts, something starts, everybody starts well, but very soon, those who started with, they begin to overtake you. Where the person is marking spots on one time, or sometimes even reversing. We will say, we're the first people to start selling, to start selling pure water in this Nigeria. We're the first people to start selling tire. We're the first people to start selling this. We're the first people to start selling that. But now nobody even knew whether you have sold it before. These are forces that you should not joke with. When these forces are at work, people will rather hurt you than help you. And the kind of achievement people make in a short time, it takes the person a long, long time to achieve it. When these forces are after a person, when there is a letter to move you forward, a message to move you forward, it gets lost. The mysteriously misplaced the letter. The messages will never get to the person until that time has passed. It's like that 72 year old man. The letter posted to him to come to somewhere abroad arrived four years after they have posted the letter. I don't know which post office brought it. It is this process. When this process is after a person, their target is just to prevent you from maximizing the use of your appointed time person will just make one silly mistake a silly mistake that will spoil everything and the person will lose the chance the person will make wrong decisions that will spoil everything when this forces after a person the person experiences what they call last minute disappointment when this forces after a person you find that a person will do hard work he will labor he will do all kinds of things but they will give the benefit to some other person and they will even blame him when these forces are at work, despite a person's gifting and talents and potentials, people forget you easily and they ignore you easily. They just pass the person by. You are talented, you are gifted, but they just pass you by. It's these forces. When a person is being harassed by these spirits, in the midst of many people like this, problem will pick the person out. Is that that brother going for an interview and they were crying, chief, 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 and the chief ran. And the person that was running went to this brother who was just going his way. He said, this is the one, this is the one. 
And the people who were pursuing didn't even bother to look at the face. In spite of his suit, they gave him serious beating. They put a tire on his neck. As we were about to set the tire ablaze, some policemen arrived. That's what saved him. But meanwhile, he has missed the interview. The enemy has kept him occupied. The enemy has kept him occupied. This is a serious matter and it should be taken with all seriousness. When the spirits are at work, requests and applications are always turned down. But the thing is this, all these powers that are targeting appointed time, they can be broken to pieces so that they have no impact on your life at all. Listen, beloved. Divine timing, divine favor, divine leading there are three main factors in you having a successful life that's why it's possible to have a long cv very good work record yet no work that's why it's possible to be very beautiful but not not see any husband the problem in life is that the time of divine appointment is not known or is missed or the enemy makes the person to just run away from it when it is your divine time to get something and you don't move on time, you miss the opportunity. It may take a very long time for you to get it again, even if it ever comes again. The good thing is this. As children of the Most High God, we can pray and recover lost opportunity. I want you to understand that your coming here tonight is a testimony that you want to key it into something serious for your life. That's why spiritual blindness is a calamity. Jesus cried up on top of Jerusalem. Say Jerusalem, Jerusalem. So you are always killing the prophets that are sent to you. And you do all kinds of other things. Say, so, but I tried to gather you as a and we gather a chick, but you, you have refused. If thou hast known, even thou, at least in this thy day. So, but the things, if you know in this thy day, the things which belong to your peace. So, but now they are hidden from your eyes. Something hid that day away from the eyes of Jerusalem. And up to now, that city, Jerusalem, had not recovered. It was Jerusalem appointed time, but Jerusalem missed it. That man at the pool of Bethesda, Jesus singled him out. He did not even need to enter the water. God himself visited him. The man had missed the appointed time for that water for 38 consecutive years. Others got into the water before him every year. The man had what to call prolonged bad luck. I prophesy unto somebody here that this year is your appointed time. It 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 is your appointed time. Masopoka pola karaba kantaraba. Ribo soponde kayabo shenta. It is your appointed time. It is your appointed time. It is appointed time. In the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. I told you we are here tonight to wage your warfare. I just want to explain to you. I just want to explain to you what you want to pray about. That's what I've just done briefly now. All eyes closed. We want to pull the stronghold of bad luck and lost opportunities. There are people here, the Lord said, you are supposed to be one of the greatest women around on this globe. You are supposed to be one of the greatest men along on this globe. The Lord has given you a global agenda, but your enemy has made it a village agenda. This is not a time to joke or to play. If you pray here tonight and you lose your voice, but you key into your appointed time, you key into the socket of the divine miracle that the Lord will be pouring out in the next few minutes now, then you have done yourself a wonderful favor. All eyes closed. This first prayer we're going to pray now. If you are in this meeting tonight, and there is something belonging to you that is supposed to be your right, a letter, good morning, breakthrough, and they are sitting upon it somewhere. What the first prayer will do is to release those things to you. Whether the enemy likes it or not, 
Whether it is convenient for the enemy or it's not convenient. Whether the enemy likes it or not. Those things just have to be released to you. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. But there is a lady here now. The Lord said I should tell you that you will not be able to get any blessing here tonight unless you repent from that married man you are following about. You are a single lady going around with a married man now. You will not be able to get any blessing unless you repent from that quickly. All eyes closed. If you are that lady, you better run quickly to the altar here and begin to repent before the Lord before you miss your appointed time today. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. This is not a day to joke. It's not even a day to play with the enemy. It's a very serious day. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every tree of bad luck planted in my life is how the loudest you can shout it here tonight. Is how the loudest you can shout it. I want your voice to roar like thunder. Damn! In the name of Jesus. This is not a day to negotiate. Jesus. Bakapota raboko soponde keyaba. Boneke tende yaboko shente raboko pola baraba kayaba. Daribo soponde kaya. Opu yama ota opu yama. Approach it. Approach it. I'll put 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 it. Aha, 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 aha. Yes. Jesus name we pray. Uh -huh. I told you what's about to happen here tonight. That's right. Yes. Something is coming out of somebody there. Yes. An evil hand was laid on your head many years ago. That fire is coming upon the head to remove every plantation of the enemy. Receive it. Receive it, 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 receive it. In the name of Jesus. Ha! Shout this with boiling anger. This second prayer will catapult people into their next level. <laughs> Coven powers <laughs> killing my opportunities. Death! In the name of Jesus. Masaka tenda ka poshanta. Jesus. Boka tenda kaya boshendera boko pola baraba. Ah! 
Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. Aha, 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 aha. In the name of Jesus, move. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Two prayers in one. I shall not miss my appointed time. I shall be in the right place the right time can you say those two prayers can you say it again shout it again shout it again loud and clear Shout it again loud and clear. Shout it again. In the name of Jesus. Shout it again loud and clear. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The next prayer. We are praying it seven hot times. I want to beg you. Don't allow anybody's voice to overshadow your voice. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise! Fast.
forward my miracles this year. Can I hear the sister saying it? Is that the best the sisters can do here tonight? Brothers, can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Everybody together! In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and decree it. Let my miracles be fast forwarded. In Jesus' name we pray. Number two, open your mouth and pray. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Number three, open your mouth and pray. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Number four, open your mouth and pray. Fast forward it. In Jesus' name we pray. Number five, open your mouth and declare. Open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus' name we pray. Number six, open your mouth and declare. In Jesus' name we pray. Get us up, ready. This is number seven. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. Many transactions have taken place here tonight. I have a word for somebody here. Those who have been laughing you to scorn, they shall come and celebrate with you. In the name of Jesus. Where the roads are blocked before, the doors shall open of their own accord. In the name of Jesus. And someone here too, what they say is not possible for you. The power of God has made it possible now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. A louder amen.